Minecraft 1.18, it's going to be a very awesome update. But the question is, what's going to happen to your old worlds? Well, in today's video, we are going to answer exactly that. And today, I'm going to be talking about on what happens to your world when you load them up in the 1.18 update. I know that there's going to be a lot of you that really want to enjoy some of those features in your own existing world. And luckily for us, we don't have to do very much. All we have to do is click play and choose the world that we want to go to. This is what happens when you click on it. You get this world update. This update makes your world higher and deeper and adds more blocks, more caves, basically all the 1.18 lovely stuff. Stuff. So you will find some new stuff underneath your existing world. If I click on update and play, I'm also going to make a backup of it because it allows you to have an option for that, which I absolutely love. So here we are inside the world and everything is loading perfectly. If I were to continue going down this way, then we do have a soul to border, but that's not from 1.18. But if I were to continue going, then we probably won't even notice where the border would have been. But if you just keep going, you will eventually find yourself the new mountains, you will find yourself the new cave biomes, and all that lovely stuff. So about 500 blocks away from spawn, we found ourselves new generation, which we found ourselves a village. It's actually a pretty cool village. Part of it's down there, and part of it is right up here. So you will find yourself all the new stuff if you just continue going. But look at the size of this growth biome. Okay, I literally have never seen a big mountain biome like this. Maybe it's like a bug. So we're now back over at the main spawn, and I want to travel downwards. Because if we continue going down, normally there would be bedrock at layer 0. But however, in 1.18, that's not going to be the case. So here we are. We're now down at layer 0. And where bedrock would normally be, there is now deep slate. And if I continue going down, then we can find ourselves some new caves. Wow, right underneath my main base, it's like a big huge cave. Mm, it would have known. So here we are inside of our second world. And we got all this lovely stuff all around us. We do have ourselves the old world border. But however, as I've mentioned before, this is not from the 1.18 generation. This is from the old generation. Whenever you're loading up a world in 1.18, the world is going to try to blend in the terrain. So you're not going to be getting those hard edges, which in return is going to give you a really nice smooth transition. And yet again, it's probably going to be quite tricky for me to spot out where the edge of the world is going to be. And I think we may have found the edge of the world because we got ourselves some very strange cutoffs here. Yeah, this definitely looks like it might be the edge of the world. Yeah, this is definitely the new terrain generation because we got ourselves a stone beach. And stone beaches look a lot better in 1.18. Here we are, main base. And just like before, we are going to go downwards. And hopefully we can run into some brand new caves. Maybe there's going to be a huge cave underneath here. Oh, wow. Um, I assure you, I did not know that this was here. That is what happens when you try to load up your world in Minecraft 1.18. 1.18 is releasing November 30th of 2021. And I'm definitely very excited. Because lots of very cool things are coming in. And why do I have dirt that's not grass yet? Oh, that's very strange. No, I just realized where I was at the world border. I could just look down this way. Because this definitely looks like 1.18 generation. Yep, yep, yep. This is definitely 1.18 generation. The way that you can tell is because this is slightly raised up. Yeah, um, that is a bug that can occur when you're loading up these worlds. You can find yourself structures that are a little bit messed up. But yeah, we could have to travel down this way. Well, that's bad on my part. I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of everything with 1.18. And are you excited that your old worlds are not going to be left in the dust? If you enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.